Hi everyone, so in this video I am trying out these watercolors that I've been wanting to try for a really long time because the only watercolors I've owned for the longest time are the Artist Loft watercolors which are really cheap from Michaels, that's where I got them. And they worked pretty well for me but they are really noticeably chalky and you can't do very many layers without the chalkiness of the paint showing through. And I heard about the um, the Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolors and they're I think they're kind of like student quality but they're like good student quality watercolors. And uh, in the basement um, we have this box of watercolors and I was I just I was in an art store looking at the Windsor Newton ones and I was just thinking like what if I have some at home in that box so I went downstairs to the basement I looked in the box and I found a lot of the Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors which are what I've been wanting to try and uh, they actually had all of the basic colors like there was there's like yellow ochre I have them right here <laughs> burnt umber black there's some there's green um ultramarine blue so there was enough colors to do an actual drawing with them and some of them were dried out so i had to kind of soak them in water and swirl the brush around and then like place the liquid into the palette and let it dry and i got the dry ones to to go into the palette and i also put the the ones that were still wet into the palette and there's actually two tubes they don't say cotton on them they say winsor newton artist watercolor and it says series 1a and then the other one says series 1aa and i don't really know what kind of watercolor they are but they're both really pigmented and i'm wondering if they're better quality or worse quality i'm not sure but they still work just as well as the common ones they just have a different um outside to them it's like the brown one burnt sienna but I didn't actually use that one in the palette. I used the Cotman one. And then there was the Windsor Red, which I used in the palette. And that is super pigmented. So I'm wondering if it's like a step above the Cotman ones or not. I'm not sure, but maybe I should look that up. So for this drawing, I really wanted to just draw something with um, an earthy color palette. Because I was doing a whole bunch of sketches in my sketchbook trying to figure out something to draw. Because I really wanted to test these out. And... I was just, every single thing I drew was in a different style, and I still don't really have a set style, like, I, I feel like it's constantly changing, and I have a bunch of different styles that I go to, so this one is a lot more cartoony than usual, but um, I like the overall composition of it, and I just like the, the design of the character, and because I was sketching in green when I first made the sketch, um, I ended up making her hair green because I just thought it fit with the overall palette. So it's it's a very earthy palette with some purples and blues here and there. And I had a lot of fun with it. And in the end, I just went in with my Prismacolor Kali Race uh, Terracotta in like an indigo blue, I think, to add some shading and to darken the outlines. So comparing these watercolors to the Artist Loft ones that I have, they are noticeably better. And the way they... Well, also, I just got new watercolor paper. It's Strathmore because I ran out of my old watercolor paper, which was also Strathmore. But this was the yellow series rather than the brown covered ones. So it's a little bit different and I'm not sure if it's my favorite thing. Just the way the paper looks when you're putting on the water, it makes it look like you're tearing the paper. But once it dries, um, the paper's fine. So it's just kind of misleading, I guess. It makes you think you're destroying the paper, but it's fine when it dries and also when I took the tape off it was tearing a little bit around the edges which is something that didn't happen with my other paper but maybe I just have to go slower or use a use a hair dryer to soften the glue of the paint and just overall like you can keep layering these watercolors like over and over they get darker they're a lot more pigmented than the artist loft ones you just need like uh, you take a wet brush and you just swipe it over top of the watercolor and there's so much color on that brush and it's really really great and the way they mix together just makes the most beautiful colors and just something I couldn't really do with the artist loft ones and it just made the whole process a lot better I just enjoyed it a lot more so I'm definitely going to be using these from now on because there's a lot left in the tubes and I probably want to go out and get a couple more colors like I was thinking a brighter yellow because the yellow ochre is a little bit um, on the brown side and I need something slightly more yellow and maybe some 
brighter colors. I know I can mix them myself, but I think it would just be cool to have a little bit more colors available at the ready so you don't have to mix everything. So I hope you enjoyed this speed paint. I had a lot of fun with these watercolors. Um, I'm really excited to keep using them. I'm not sure about the paper though. I I like I like cold press paper. This is cold press, but it's just it just feels different and it looks different. So I can't tell if it's the paper or the watercolor that made this so different from before, but um, I still think it turned out okay and the paper's still good to use. It's just just different from what I'm used to. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.